First question is from Fit Trucker Lady. Are booty bands or hip circles effective for building the butt? What would be the correct way to use a booty band? Mm. Oh, those have been real popular uh, yeah. lately, you know, with people, especially for butt building. So here's the thing. Booty bands, hip circles. So for those people who don't know what those are, those are literally elastic bands. Some of them uh, made out of material. Some of them actually made out of like a, like a rubber or whatever. You wear it around your legs and then you do uh, movements that work the, the muscles that separate your legs or work your glutes with them. On their own, they're not very effective at building any muscle at all. In If you take them and put them in a program and use them pr properly, they are very effective. Mm. So the way that I would use them is I would use them as a primer. I would use them to get someone to feel what it feels like to activate the glutes, to activate the glutes a little bit, and then move the person to the real butt building exercises, which are like your squats and your deadlifts and your hip thrusts. That's how I would primarily use the booty bands. Yeah, I've always used these uh, mainly as a warm-up primer. Uh, we'd call it like tube walking, but we would do this ahead of time in order to get the glutes to respond, and you'd be able to feel that in your squats and in your lifts uh, throughout. So, I mean, it's very effective for that uh, if you haven't done that before. But you do see a lot on social media – people selling these and they're obviously they're trying to sell them as like the the one stop shop of like building your booty and like this is all you have to do it's, it's the same thing with the donkey kickbacks the dog peas like all these like exercises that have like a little bit of a relevance on their own in terms of like activation of the glutes but they're not building they're they're literally just like getting you connected to your glutes uh and and it's a great one to add into for uh, you know, you know, more, more volume in terms of frequency of being able to approach uh, that specific muscle group. I, I think it's an, an amazing tool, but unfortunately it's, it's rare that I think I see uh, people using it well. Uh, it's, it's turned into that where when I go in the gyms now, they're everywhere, right? They've been definitely marketed to people a lot. And it's obviously why we have this question, but everybody uses them like um, these pumping exercises, you know, so they're doing they're they're doing all these pumping like you know uh, kickbacks with it, or they're opening they're doing uh, jump squats and they're wearing them. They're doing all these weird movements while they keep the band on during the entire time. And then you have another group of people that are wearing them while they're doing squats, which is not bad. But the idea is that you're just trying to prime and wake up the glutes, right? So we've talked about this before when like one of the most common things that people do when they squat is their feet pronate, meaning they flatten and the knees collapse in. Well, the muscles that are responsible for that, the knees pushing out is your side butt. So if I put a band around my knees and I have to push out against the band, basically what it's doing is it's telling me to like that part of my, they turn that part of my butt on. And so, and then people really feel it when they do the squats with the bands on the knees. And what happens a lot of times with exercise is we think that because we feel it, it's, it's a more effective exercise. So that, that was a, and this was a mistake I remember making as a trainer is like, if it was something that they really felt like, oh, that's a better exercise than another exercise just because that person feels it better. But that's not necessarily true. Like it would be far better if that person just learned intrinsically how to turn that part of their butt on while they squat. And if you always have a band around your knees, you're not teaching yourself to do that. So you, you know, the guys are alluding to priming. You do it before your exercise, you do your tube walks or you do these exercises with the band on, not going to fatigue, not tons of sets, tons of reps, just enough to get you like established connecting. They're like, oh, okay, I feel that. I feel my side butt. Okay, now let's go and squat without the band. But now think about that. Now think about what we're trying to do by forcing your knees out, not letting them collapse in while you sweat. You want to teach your body to be able to do it. Otherwise, you got to wear a stupid band around your knees mm -hmm. everywhere you go just to feel it in your butt the same way. Yeah, now the, now the way I would use something like this in the past, you can use it for correctional exercise, which is what I think people are doing but thinking that they're building their butt more. And that was what you know what, what Adam just talked about where let's say your knees collapse in and cave in when you do a squat. Well, one way you would help correct this for someone – is you would have them push their knees out against something that they, that would provide some resistance like a band or sometimes I wouldn't even use a band. I would use a rope or something that didn't even stretch. I'd put it around their legs, have them push out, and then squat. Now, the reason why I would do that was it would, it would teach them to, to push the knees out while performing a movement. It's correctional exercise. Correctional exercise 
is great for correcting movement patterns. It's like it, training wheels. Right, but it's not great for building lots of muscle. Now, it can help you build lots of muscle because if you correct your form, then you go lift heavy, then you build lots of muscle. So that's how you should use this. You should use this to activate the glutes better, correct your positioning in your form, then the goal is to not use it anymore, take it off, now go do your deadlifts, now go do your squats, now do your sumo, sumo deadlifts, now do your hip thrusts, and then watch what happens.